I'm Brandon Kanji, and this is our ECE 280 uh, ECP1 op amp project. Alright, so this is our prototype for our ECE 280 project. Um, basically, what it is, it's a bridge amplifier, and the IC we're using is a Max uh, 4168, which is a sample sample we got from their website from MaximIC.com. And um, what uh, here's the voltage source. It's just two AA batteries, which provides three volts. Um, here's our input that we're using. It's just an audio cable which goes through this little adapter thing right here which provides the signal input for op, for our op amp and uh, so the voltage and the signal go into the op amp and uh, also here's a potentiometer on the side which allows us to adjust the gain from 1 to 10 and uh, the output of the op amp goes to this one speaker over here and also in, a, in, in, a, in an enclosure that we made to make it louder um, it's a 32 ohm speaker and uh, right now we can give you an example all right, so this is a video of the output from the cell phone directly driving the speaker without the amplifier attached. And this is how loud it is. Okay, and it's about 50% volume from the cell phone. All right, so now this is a video of the output from the cell phone going into the amplifier. And right here is a one mega ohm potentiometer that uh, right now it's set as low as it can go. This is the lowest gain we can get from the from the amplifier. And as you can see, it's a lot louder. So now I'm going to increase, going to increase the the gain. Oh man, it's hard by turning the potentiometer. Sunny. Um, this is our EC280 project. Right here what I have is a PCB layout that we made after we prototyped our bread, um, op amp breadboard. Um, as you can see we have all the connections routed and all the components placed. Um, the way we actually created our PCB is we used a normal piece of paper and a sheet of magazine paper that we taped onto this paper and we just printed it through a laser printer and pretty much the final result is going to look like this so the glossy paper or the glossiness of the magazine paper allows us to peel off the toner that was attached or printed to our paper um, pretty much what we're going to do is now is take this off of the paper and iron it onto our PCB board Thank you.